Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews, and convention panels. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim here. And Kelly. With the Creative Flame Podcast Network, back for the final day of RPG A Day 2024. And it is a very somber, somber question. Which is game or gamer you miss? That's that's somber. Or do we want to do the alternate question, which is uh, amazing antidote? I don't have any antidote. Yeah, except for the thing we, I mean, the amazing antidote. Uh, we've actually kind of done a number of very similar ones to that. Uh, for then the that that keys us into the very very somber question of. Game or gamer you miss? Well, I'm going to have to go with the Scion. Uh, the Scion game. That was that was my honorable mention. Was the the first Ragnarok and Roll group? Exactly. Uh, the uh, Vanguard. Mm-hmm. So uh, that that was. That was fun, and I, I very much enjoyed it, you know, although one of these days I should probably get you some of those stories. So or you post can post those on, on Patreon or somewhere? Yeah. Hey, uh, those but, are great writings. Yeah, but they're not, I mean, it's like without, you know, hearing this, the other this, their stories, I'm mm-hmm. not sure, you know, because they're interims. Mm-hmm. How much so, context is... Yeah, exactly. But uh, um, I yeah I miss the the I mean that they they did some crazy stuff I got That's it fantastic player and character synergies exactly it was a lot of fun hanging around the having pizza at the dinner table, table. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> just just being crazy and and. A variety of uh, different types of. Although I also like the uh, the second one as well. Mm-hmm. The the uh, second all Asgard group with Trixie. Yeah. The first group had different pantheons in it, mm-hmm. um, uh, but uh, the um. Ragnarok second group, we kind of focus on all. just well because the name you know yeah. it was like ah oh, let's do right because of course the book ragnarok and so we did the ragnarok and roll and uh and we're like okay we'll all be pantheon you know, the <laughs> easter pantheon you know <laughs> although they just hit demigod it's like that would have been you know kind of interesting yep I'd, I'd still like to get everybody together but life has unfortunately found a new way to Hi, Bosch, that kind of ideas. Mm-hmm. Yep. Some of the group are overseas now and in the military, so they can't even, they can't mm-hmm. join, you know, regularly and stuff. And others are off to college. and Others have really crappy work schedules that don't line up with anybody's. True. So, I mean, so I miss it. I, I miss that one. And, and. Trust me, I've been trying to get another Scion group together, and that's been really difficult. Mm-hmm. We've had, what, like three games that started, made it three or four sessions, and then died out. Before I even posted a single episode, the group kind of fell apart with scheduling and other problems. Yeah. 
Well, hey, I got that Cyan of Hermes that's just sitting <laughs> now. Just surfing the World Wide Web and hacking it on behalf of the gods. Exactly, you know. So what's yours? What do you? Uh, uh... So for me, I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make it tear jerky. Uh, you know, I don't want to, but I gotta say, but uh, I'm gonna pick a gamer that I miss, and that's gonna be my buddy Scott. Oh, be Bye. Unfortunately, Scott did pass away this year, so he's he's definitely someone we missed at the game table. He was a wonderful gamer. He was a fantastic gamer. He would be throwing ideas out left, right, and down the middle. He would he would even try his best to say, guys, let's make this a good guy group, even though he'd go bad with the rest of the group instantly. <laughs> but I I definitely miss Scott at the talking. game table. <laughs> and he was always one of the most dependable players to show up to game, too. I know, right? And he just loved, you know, coming up with, like, interesting mm -hmm. approaches to the characters not your standard he like, always wanted to do something a little different and like being a good uh, guy necromancer <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know years and years and years ago with Tuscan he got got me to, to actually volunteer to run a vampire lark that never happened because that was the gaming he used to do back when he was a kid. The old first edition Vampire the Masquerade. But he is he is definitely a gamer that I I will miss forever and a day. But uh hip in the drink for Scott because he was he was a great guy. He was he was a wonderful man. And just remember Go out there and love all your fellow gamers at the game table because you never know when they, they may not be there. It's I know for quite a few groups it's been a really rough, you know, year or two. And cherish everybody you got when you can. Because you never know when something might come up and happen. Okay, sadly, I think that's that's probably how should we should back out of RPG a day 2024, even though I don't want it on a downer. But I I, I celebrate having him as one of one of our gamers around the table all the time. Yeah. yeah. Trust me. The other day I was watching some of the old uh, airship uh, episodes that we recorded on on yeah. Twitch and YouTube uh -huh. back in the day. Nothing like being at the old game store all packed in the room with the camera in the corner recording everything and just seeing how big and happy he was all the time. <laughs> yep. I was uh, just thinking of that game, too, the other day. Uh-huh. My engineer. Yep. Your ridiculous engineer. <laughs> and our Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Cranker. <laughs> oh, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph is another one I missed because he is across country right now, so we can only play virtually. Yeah. Which is why most of my virtual groups still say they want to stay on Roll Twenty instead of going back to the game store because you know folks have you know spread across the country now. Yeah. And some of our loved ones across the world now. Yep. Some are across cross continent. <laughs> So uh, I think that will be a good place to say thank you for joining us in the fantastic experience that is RPG Day 2024. I'm trying to put myself in an uppy mood now. Come on. <laughs> uppy mood. And uh, make sure you share your own experiences and the greatness of, of what role-playing games are. Because most of us are out there stuck doing our regular 9 to 5 Monday through Friday thing. And... There's nothing more joyous than being able to get away from all that for a while and get to the game table and put on another person's, you know, character's sheet and get to go out there and role play with our friends and just be silly and use our imaginations. Mm -hmm. It's cathartic. <laughs> it is cathartic. 
it's it's almost therapy in some ways, but just be safe at the game table. Yes. Yes, be safe at the game table. Use safety tools if you need it. I know I'm going to be running at Comic-Con the Walking Dead universe, and I'm going to have to put an X card out there because it's Walking Dead. It's very traumatic. Just wait till you get to play the quick start. It's very traumatic. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining in with us. And make sure you hashtag RPG a day 2024 and find the other folks out there that have done stuff. And make sure you like, share, and comment because that's the only way we win the wars against the algorithms. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great rest of the year. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show, please check out D&D Journey of the 5th Edition and Ragnarok and roll a Scion Hero to Ragnarok Story. Also, check out our Patreon page for more content and behind-the-scenes things, as well as joining us for a one-shot game or two.